Warm Up is the world's best-selling electric underfloor heating brand, manufacturing high-quality products for whole house heating. This is a simple guide to installing Warm Up's loose wire underfloor heating system. This video does not replace the installation manual. So before starting, make sure you have read the manual in your warm-up pack. Before you start, you will need to measure the area you are working in to order the right number of packs for the room. Carefully work out the floor area, excluding any furniture or fittings. Once you've worked out your heated area or if you have floor plans for your project, you can submit them directly to warm-up via the website email or phone for a free quote on your heating requirements. If you have any questions, call our 24-hour helpline on 0845 345 2288. In your warm-up pack, you will find the loose wire heater, an installation manual, floor primer and a roller, and tape to secure to floor. Before beginning your installation, make sure you have a warm-up thermostat with floor sensor, a digital multimeter, a permanent marker, measuring tape and a hammer and chisel. Also, make sure you prepare the subfloor to British standard guidelines. Further help with floor preparation and tile application is available in the installation manual. At this stage, you can install warm-up insulation boards. This state-of-the-art insulation system greatly improves energy efficiency, saving you money and heating your room up to 10 times faster. This is a simple guide to installing warm-up insulation boards. Make sure the floor surface is clean, dry and free from any dust. Using a floor trowel, comb a thick bed of flexible tile adhesive onto the floor. As you go, lay the warm-up insulation boards down in place and press firmly. Stagger all the joints in a brick-like fashion. In situations where you already have fixtures in place and for renovations, the boards can be easily cut with a utility knife to the exact shape required. When installing warm-up insulation boards onto wooden floors, you should also screw down the boards at 300mm intervals to make sure they are secure. In wet areas, you can use waterproof jointing tape to create a waterproof joint between the boards. If the floor surface is porous or dusty, your warm-up loose wire kit includes an optional primer and a roller. This will aid adhesion of the tape to the floor surface. Paint the subfloor with primer and then leave it to dry. Once the primer has been applied, avoid walking across the floor. If you are tiling over a floor which is already tiled or has insulation boards installed, you should clean the floor but you do not need to apply the primer and can go straight to step two. Double check you have the correct heater. Then using the sizing guide in your installation manual, read off the wire spacing to fit your heating wire into the area. At this stage, you should test the loose wire system with a digital multimeter. It is important to test the system before, during and after installation. Record your reading in the warm-up installation manual. Check the installation manual for more details. Mark your start point as close as possible to the power supply, no further than 2.5 metres from it. For cable starts further than 2.5 metres away, Call Warm Up to discuss junction box options or to discuss your layout plans. Then, mark the outer corners of the heated area and join them up to meet the perimeter. The heater must not be laid closer than 40 millimeters to the wall at any point. Refer back to the sizing guide in the installation manual and mark the spacing intervals for the heating wire along the perimeter. These intervals must be a minimum of 50 millimeters apart. 
the sizing chart provided is a useful guide to heater layout, but you may find it necessary to slightly alter the wire spacing to suit your room. If you are installing two or more heaters, refer to the guidelines in the installation manual. You need to make sure that all heaters start next to the warm-up thermostat and remember, however many heaters you are installing, the wire should never cross. Now that the floor is marked, you need to lay out the heating wire. Do not take the spool out of the box, as the heating wire will twist. Just pull the cable gently from the box. After 3 meters, the power supply cable joins the thinner heating wire. Take this joint at your starting point that you marked earlier, close to the power supply. Following the perimeter and spacing marks that you have drawn, Lay out the heating wire in parallel lines back and forth across the area to be heated, securing the wire at the ends with strips of tape as you go. Now you can use your spacing marks as tape down points, further securing the wire into position. In order to achieve even coverage, you may need to adjust the wire spacing in the room. Warm-up's loose wire heater is a versatile system and allows you to adjust your layout to provide warmth around basins, baths and toilets. When adjusting the layout, make sure that the wire is always evenly spaced. Just remember, don't lay the heater under fixed fittings or furniture. The heating wire should be spaced a minimum of 50 millimeters apart, ensuring it does not touch or cross and as always, you must never cut the wire. The heater should be installed on one level. Do not lay warm-up in or on walls or stairs. Once you've completed the layout, tape the entire length of the heating wire to the floor. Use the supplied tape, running your finger and thumb along it, gently squeezing to remove any air bubbles. If the tape doesn't cover the wire completely, apply another layer where necessary. Perform another multimeter test to check that the heater has not been damaged and make a note of your reading in the warm-up installation manual. If your reading has changed, call warm-up immediately. Do not continue working. After completing the installation and testing of the heater, you will now be ready to install the floor sensor and connect the thermostat. The exclusive 3IE energy monitoring thermostat from WarmUp is the world's first fully interactive touch technology energy monitoring thermostat. The contemporary design and wide color range allow the 3IE to complement any modern decor. Touch technology in a variety of different colors and graphical settings have made the 3IE Energy Monitor a leader in its field for ease of use and interaction. Informative help screens make it simple to use and do away with the need for complex user manuals. The advanced programming ability allows you to set different temperatures at different times of the day. With up to 10 settings a day, you can keep your room at the exact temperature you desire. The 3IE is calendar-based and can be set for specific dates in advance. That means you can also use the Set and Forget holiday heating programs. No need to worry about setting or heating while rushing for the airport. The self-learning program means the 3IE will learn to start earlier on cold days and later on warm days. Weather compensation means the 3IE will automatically adjust during the day depending on the weather conditions outside. The 3IE allows you to view real-time graphs of your recorded energy consumption so you know exactly what your floor heating running costs are. The Active Energy Management feature actually prompts you to save money by reducing unnecessary energy consumption. 
it will help you determine the ideal temperature setting for your house. Detailed instructions on fitting the 3IE can be found in the box and the installation manual. Warm-up underfloor heating must be wired via an RCD, a residual current device. Any electrical installation work should be undertaken by a certified electrician. The floor probe measures the actual temperature of the floor, allowing complete, accurate control of the system. If the probe or the power cable sit proud of the subfloor, you may wish to chisel out short channels in the subfloor. Position the floor probe evenly between two of the heating elements, making sure not to cross the heating wire. Tape down the floor sensor at least 300 millimeters into the heated area. At this stage, you should perform another multimeter test on the heater and make a note of the reading in the warm-up installation manual. If you have any questions at any point, simply call the 24-hour warm-up technical helpline. Our helpful experts are on hand to guide you through every step of your project. Before you start tiling, check the heater wire is taped securely to the floor. You must make sure that the tile adhesive and grout you use is compatible with underfloor heating. These are widely available at warm-up resellers. Lay your tiles as normal, taking extra care not to damage or dislodge the heating wire with the trowel. You need to use enough adhesive to ensure that there are no gaps or hollows under the tile. Do not store tiles or heavy items on top of the heater as you work and do not clean grout lines with a utility knife as you may damage the heating cable. Leave the floor to set for at least seven days to allow the adhesive to fully dry. Then enjoy the unique luxury of warm-up underfloor heating. Don't forget to fill out your warranty online at www.warmup.co.uk for more information, visit the warm-up website, email us or call the 24-hour technical helpline on 0845 345 2288.